Hello everybody, this is Matthew Burgraff, and before I get, um, it is January 17, 2018, this is daily update number, I think it's number 7, let me check really quick, um, let's see, I have to do this manually, um, like as I'm doing this, because I can't edit this out or whatever, so you're gonna have to bear with me and wait. Yeah, it's number seven. Okay, yeah, welcome to daily update number seven for January 2018. Um, for now, um, so I wasn't actually able to do a lot of vlogging today. It's just, it's just been so stressful, so much things going on today, um, which you know, eventually when I you know can do the full thing. Um, for a full video and everything, I'll be able to, um, I can, I'll be able to, uh, to edit and, and, you know, things will be, be better. Um, I, I have hope and I believe strongly that that will, will all work out. But anyway, um, for today, so, uh, I, I had an appointment with, um, this company who helps you find jobs and whatever and they and also with um, my job coach and it was just an amazing but like it was a different kind of an appointment the the, the feeling of it and the, the way things were uh, were presented and all that stuff it was different than it usually is um, basically and simply, um, we just figured out that maybe it would be a good idea that I not go to DI, um, so quickly. Uh, I did talk to my bishop and he's going to, uh, get me an authorization to, uh, work, to work at DI, but I, I don't know, I'm trying... I'm trying so hard to discern and to figure this all out, but we talked about maybe holding off, stepping back, not going to DI quite yet, and just learning and experiencing how to, um, or, uh, what, uh, what this new job, um, uh, for the, the new job I'm at, how it's, how I can, um, like, to, to see what it's like, uh, and, see, you know, after over time, if I can, uh, get better, um, for now, because, um, it's been really stressful to, to work at my current job now, but it's, um, and it's not something I really want to, to do anymore, because I, 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 I just, basically, the person that I was talking to said that they, uh, or they kind of put together the idea of exactly, the exact same way it feels like to me, going to work at my current job, my, my current job practically runs my entire life. My entire day is just work, because when I get home... I'm tired, and all I really want to do is just go to bed. Oh, I just want to sleep because I'm just exhausted, and I'm at such a high stress level that it just consumes all my energy. So my job coach is gonna, you know, accompany me uh, in the next couple days or within the next week or two. Uh, I don't know exactly what the plan is, but. He's going to accompany me, he's going to watch me, he's not really going to uh, do any of the work, but he's going to g maybe give verbal suggestions on, you know, what I can do better and how I can improve, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, that's what, um, that's what's, uh, what I'm hoping for the best of the whole thing. Um, I, I just, I've been searching for a better job, and I can barely survive, um, may, I can barely make it with, uh, 
the, the income I get for my current job. Where at DI, I think I could get more um, money than, uh, than this, this current job. So I'm hoping that things can get better and uh, I just have to do a, do things one step at a time. Um, also, the, the this one person from uh, from the appointment also kind of brought up like having maybe a floral design um, kind of a, a, a job where um, uh, from like at a, a grocery store or something like maybe Ridley's or or Smith's or um, Macy's, right? Like, place like grocery stores, just grocery stores. Um, and it would be actually, it sounds like something I would enjoy. Uh, we did, uh, a, an assessment, a little activity that, uh, you know, I, I got to see what was not important to me, what was important to me, and what was very, very important to me. And I just laid out these lists and these items of these things, and then, um, we only had like I think about six things and they all revolve really around like creativity flexibility freedom being able to breathe being able to be free and just like be able to to do the work I really want um, it's just like it, it shows my ideal workplace um, the atmosphere of it um, that's what it really comes down to and a floral design would sound sound pr sounds pretty good, and the busiest they would ever be are on the holidays like Christmas or or uh, Valentine's Day or you know other uh, like mem or Memorial Day or you know things like th those kind of major holidays where people are actually getting flowers for um, those special occasions, and I would truly I think I could handle it. Um, because those holidays don't happen every day, they just happen sometimes. So, I think, I think I could, uh, I think I'm going to apply to it. Um, uh, there, there is one place in, uh, uh, a, a Ridley's store that has this, uh, job opening, at least as of, like, 35 days ago. <laughs> I don't know if it's been filled, but, you know, I'm praying and hoping that, even if this um, location doesn't have any anything, I'm hoping that you know other doors will open. Uh, just for the fact that I'm I'm really trying and I'm putting effort into it. Um, let's see update. So I don't know if I showed you last night, but this is my thumb currently. Um, I have it bandaged up. It's in blue, of course, obviously. So I don't have a green thumb, but I have a blue thumb. Um, and, uh, it's mainly to keep, um, protect the, the tip of my thumb from getting dirty or bumped too hard or too much. It's just to keep it safe, but, um, I'm supposed to, again, soak it in Epsom salt, uh, twice a day. Uh, today I wasn't able to do that because, you know, my schedule was just so hard and just kept going and going and going. Um, and even our appointment kind of went over today, uh, and so I wasn't able to just go home, so it, was, it wasn't worth it to just go home, so I went, uh, I stayed here in Provo, and, um, I went to, uh, another meeting, um, with some, uh, friends and such, and, uh, a big, uh, meeting thing, and, it it was really really good to be able to do that uh, to go. Uh, I really love going to these meetings, but uh, today was especially kind of really hard, really tough, difficult, stressed. I feel like I'm declining uh, on on this uh, uh, just in life right now. Uh, it's too stressful financially, emotionally, physically, mentally, all of the above. Um, my bishop is uh, suggesting going to counseling, and there's other things that you know he's he's um, brought up that I might take advantage of, and um, 
for with his help and um, I'm looking forward to moving along with that but today in, uh, in our meeting um, I just I just explained you know what's been going on a little bit um, and how stressful it's been and you know at the end of the night I just kind of broke down and like literally uh, as, as I was being you know driven home uh, to my apartment and um, I just had a a good talk with um, someone from uh, the, this group of friends uh, from the meeting and he uh, he said some really amazing things that uh, I really want to take in uh, just talking about how God knows me cares about me, loves me, knows my struggles, and encouraging me to basically tell him, express my thoughts and my feelings, and and follow the advice and the, the, the help that others can give that are around me, because um, they're around me to help me. And that's wonderful to, to hear and to be able to participate in, to be able to do. So, um, and it was really great to be able to, to have that talk and everything, and, um, it's really late, it's 11.30, oh, it's a lot later than I wanted to, wanted it to be, um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to close the video, I think, now, um, well, I did have an idea, I, I was, I was going, uh, I went to the store, earlier, just a few minutes ago, and, um, as I was doing that, I, I thought, well, I, and I think I've brought this up plenty of times before, but, um, I, because of my drawing, so I can't do that yet, uh, for right now, it's on hold because of my thumb, because I can't, I can't hold with, the, it being this thick, and with the injury that I had, I don't want to hurt that even more by holding the pencils and using my, my thumb and my finger to hold the pencil and to draw and whatever. So I'm putting that on hold for right now uh, and letting it heal for a couple weeks. And once it heals good enough, then I'll start drawing again. But I was thinking, what if, um, and, and you've probably heard this before, what if I did um, uh, stationary cards and I'm pretty sure you have heard this. I'm going to do stationary stationary cards, uh, where they're they're blank, and so so it's not like so it's it's like the, the you know the, the get well cards or the thank you cards or the welcome cards or um, the ha like just happy birthday cards, happy anniversary cards, uh, and all those kind of cards. Only the cards that I'm thinking the, the stationary cards are going to be blank. So they don't they don't have a specific occasion that they uh, really celebrate or that they emphasize, but they uh, it's it allows it it does have a picture on it, and this um, picture is a beautiful arrangement of something or you know um, something in nature or something or a building I like I don't know um, or an animal um, and I'm gonna have to like get ideas from other people. And that will be um, really great to be able to have suggestions on what people would like to see on a card. And I can try to do it uh, if you know what my my drawing style, my art style, my my imagination, my creative my creativity. If you've seen that stuff um, and you like it, please let me know in the comments below what kind of things you would like to see. Um, on a stationary card, what kind of things would you use a stationary card for? Uh, and I, but I was kind of thinking, what if I kind of did it by season and by occasion, kind of? Um, so like, coming up now is like February is a uh, Valentine's Day because it's going to be February in a few, uh, in a few, uh, week or two. And so, what if like I I drew something that was Valentine's like, or then eventually it'll be. Fourth of July. What if I drew something 
nature-y and like in the spring in the summer kind of to set the 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 mood for the for the season uh and i i just hope that you know people will enjoy these uh cards and use them i want to so what i, what I want to do is i'll draw in my sketchbook uh these different types of pictures um a few of them and i'll copy them i want to copy them onto cardstock basically and then I'd fold them, and uh, I'd sell them. I'd love to sell them, and it would just bring in uh, a couple, a couple dollars um, for each each card. Um, I w I'd probably say maybe like five dollars at the most, five or ten. Uh, but also like, cause at least for right now, um, they they won't be, um. They won't be uh, too expensive, uh, just so I can get them out and promoted and uh, advertised in a way. The fact that you know I'm I'm sending them out, uh, and I I just hope that you know people that I can bring light into people's eyes by seeing these cards and going, look at this picture, it's amazing. Oh, I, I and and then they write a ma a, a little uh, a. A note inside the card uh, to uh, to the person that they are for for the occasion that they're writing it for or to, um, and they too will enjoy this beautiful picture. Uh, and well, I was kind of thinking, what better person to uh, or set of people to start uh, this thing going then to um once i get the card uh a card i'm gonna i'm gonna copy a picture and then i'm gonna put it on this on one card and what better person to do it or people to do it to but my my mom and other family members uh and see if they like it and it really uh, i i probably only do like five dollars per card per copy um and really Honestly, I probably wouldn't be making more money than I'd be spending to make the copies, but the thing is, it's just to start out with, and if if it becomes good and successful and people like what I do and the more pictures I can do, uh, the more uh, I can up the prices and um, mainly what I would be doing it for is to help with the the, uh, to be able to get out of my financial stress, out of the financial hole, to um, just a little bit, um, so that I can um, enjoy my life a little bit more, um, but also mainly to be able to have, uh, for right now, to, to be able to get, uh, save up for a computer. Um, and to save up for editing software, and to save up for a camera, and new, just new equipment, everything, um, and be able to just expand and do better. Um, I had a friend tonight who actually suggested that maybe what if I did a, uh, well, well, in the in my uh, appointment, I had uh, uh, my job coach suggested what if we did a full time. Uh, or or two part time jobs, um, and uh, I, uh, it's kind of stressful sounding, but you know maybe I might need to do that. And then also I had a friend after our meeting, who not not with my job coach, but uh, the meeting later uh, earlier tonight, uh, he suggests what if I just did a full time job, and he just was very encouraging, um, and because I, I'm just like, I'm just so annoyed that everybody around me are just, so many people are, are achieving their goals, their dreams successfully. And it's amazing. And I'm so happy for them. But when, when is it my turn? When will I be able to achieve my dreams? And my, one of my dreams, my, one of my bigger dreams is to do better with my uh my channel to increase uh the quality and the 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 videos make them better um but i can't do that without money everything costs money but i believe if i can get um 
enough money and and whatever and and get even a better job and whatever uh, then I'll be able to get a new computer and I'll be able to afford to get a house so I can relax and break free and breathe and be in my own space and and whatever and I'm just excited and looking forward to that but it is it is really annoying and just frustrating that it hasn't happened yet but I'm just gonna take it one step at a time try out this new job for a little bit longer and then eventually I'll be finding a new job so that's where I'm at um, and so yeah um, thanks for watching everybody please if you're a new person please like a video if you liked it or unlike it or like dislike it or whatever uh, whatever you feel about it or but please subscribe please subscribe and then ring that bell subscribe ring the bell that would be awesome um, and then uh, so yeah uh, that's it for tonight so climb your mountains achieve the dream this is Matthew Burgraff and be free it I'll see you in the next update